starts. Well, we don't want to scare her though. There she goes. Yep. Happy October 23rd, just out today, eh, fighting mud a little bit, but overall making do. Uh, we've had absolutely beautiful weather here in Michigan um, the past three days. It's been 70 degrees, stark contrast from obviously a few videos back, but uh, thankful to God that the weather kind of turned after a lot of inches of rain uh, previously, but uh, yeah, just trying to get the corn off all I can. Uh, overall, I would say not too bad, given the three weeks or so that we went without rain uh, between middle of June to early July. Uh, this this wasn't related to that. This is uh, it got planted into lumpy clay ground, and it just it is what it is for that. But uh, you know, overall yields yields are a little bit down from last year. But I actually think uh, they're down on some fields. But I think I may actually uh, make it up in some of the others. So yeah, overall I'm I'm very pleased. Uh, maybe a little bit higher in moisture. Uh, the first couple days have all been 24. I think maybe I'm down, uh, down some now. So uh, overall, I still think probably the average is going to be about 24%. Uh, it'd be nicer if it was, you know, two, three percent lower, just from a drying cost perspective. But uh, it is, it is kind of what it is uh, with my work schedule and being able to take off and and. You know, looking at the the long-term forecast too. So, so overall, this field last year did 131, which um, was much better compared to previous years. Um, this year, uh, there's there's a considerable amount that was impacted by the the time period that we didn't have any rain, and then deer damage this year has been. Uh, considerably more uh, than in past years so you know right now it's 150 right around 150 uh, so seeing that I have all of the, the poor parts of the field done I have to believe you know it's going to keep increasing overall the fields at 130.4 uh, with a 23.2 moisture so uh, yeah seeing that I'm done with the worst parts of the field <laughs> dealing with mud it's not the driest obviously if I was a no-tiller I don't know you get guess you just wait but you look at the extended forecast that's not favorable either so I'm good with being out there. It's more of a, I'm, I'm, I am I'm feel good. <laughs> so, but yeah, where it's good, you get up there 
pretty good yields. Um, maybe a little bit higher in moisture. The buzzer hasn't gone off yet. Eh, there it is. <laughs> See if I can't fit a little bit more on. Let's just check it quick. Look ahead on. Obviously some cap corn. It'll fit a little bit more on. <laughs> yeah, two more wagons full. Front one's maybe a little bit more <laughs> full than the back one, but got those and just gonna fill up the single so I have five wagons and I've been pairing the two red ones that are, the two red ones are uh, 650 bushel each, so 1,300. And then those two light green ones, uh, they're really more like 500. And then I have a dark green one that's really more like 700. So what I do is I pair the 700 with a 500. So if I'm actually hauling, like trying to make good time, I can still have another 1,300 instead of it wouldn't make sense to haul a thousand and then a 700 because in reality it takes uh, an hour and a half to two hours round trip when you're dumping um, so yeah it's uh, um, <laughs> I need to hit one